with the speech entitled Look for the Pony. Look for the Pony, the more very nice. <laughs> In our life, we try to achieve different goals. To get a better paid job, to buy a new flat, have a baby, or even to finally complete that CC menu. <laughs> <laughs> and when we at last get what we want, what do we feel at this moment? How do you think? Happiness. Happiness! <laughs> 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 you see how happy I am? We have feel happiness, or maybe satisfaction, maybe enjoyment, whatever. Something good. Right? That's why, in my opinion, whatever we do in our life, we always look for some positive emotions, don't we? Recently, in an advertisement in a metro car, I saw unbelievable statistics. I don't know, maybe you saw that too. Four out of five key residents don't like their job. Only 10% are sure about tomorrow. 89% of people around us confess they are unhappy. That's unbelievable. Is everything really so bad? Or it's only our perception? A year ago I broke up with my girlfriend, whom I love very much. Sadness and depression just consumed me. But it was so until one unusual encounter. <laughs> Several days after the separation, I was taking my car from a paid parking lot when the parking man suddenly spoke to me. Do you often speak with parking men? <laughs> the parking man spoke to me. He said, I think we should not give in to our emotions. <laughs> he was an elderly man of about 65. You know, such type of a good-natured old man. Average height, a little fat, and with kind face. For some reason, I felt I should continue this conversation, because he was in good mood, and I felt something was important. So I told him my sad story. Having listened to me, he said words of gold. Son, we have only one life, so what's the use of wasting it on unpleasant emotions? It's not the circumstances that make us feel this or that way. It's how we see them. You are so young. You have all the possibilities of the world. Don't make your happiness dependent on another person's decision. It's you who decides to be happy or not. And by the way, if your ex-girlfriend accidentally sees you, in what case will she be more attracted to you? If you are sad? Or if you are in good mood? However long I live, I will always be grateful to that old parking man who gave me this amazing insight. I felt myself an actor of an exciting action movie called My Life. <laughs> And would you enjoy a movie if its heroes didn't encounter any difficulties they need to overcome to reach the happy end? Of course, if something really nasty happens, sometimes it's not easy to stay in good mood. But here, a simple question will help. What's wonderful about this situation? For example, you have been fired from your job. It's wonderful! <laughs> you'll have time to rest. <laughs> and you'll be able to find a better job. Or start your own business, just Tanya will help you. <laughs> Another example. You're in the airport and your flight is delayed. It's great! <laughs> How do you think? Why? Any idea? Nice shopping. Shopping! <laughs> you can speak with your friends over the phone. You can meet people sitting around. You can just sit and think about your life. And life constantly proves 
that people who remain optimistic, whatever happens, achieve much better results than those who are constantly dissatisfied. <laughs> <laughs> Napoleon. Napoleon, the mightiest and the most powerful person of his time. At the end of his life, he confessed he had had not more than six happy days in his whole life. Maybe this is the reason why he was eventually defeated. A family had twin boys, one of whom was an eternal optimist, and the other a doom and gloom pessimist. <laughs> Just to see what would happen, on the twins' birthday, their father loaded the pessimist twins' room with every imaginable toy and game. And in the optimist twins' room, he put a pile of horse... <laughs> <laughs> horse excrement. <laughs> you know excrement, it's what a horse produces after she eats. <laughs> he put that pile of that in his son's room. That morning, the father was passing by the pessimist twins' room and saw him crying bitterly amid his new gift. Why are you crying? asked the father. <laughs> because my friends will be jealous. And I'll need to read these instructions. And I'll have to clean his batteries. And make those one until it gets broken. Then the father went to the optimist twins' room. And saw him dancing with joy around the pile of horse excrement. The father was amazed. <laughs> What are you so happy about? <laughs> to which that kid replied, Daddy, there has to be a pony somewhere here. <laughs> Can you imagine that father was so impressed that the next day he gave his son, this little kid, a real alive pony. Many people search for happiness all their life, but never find it, because they look for it in the wrong place. You can't see the sunrise if you are facing the west. You can't find happiness if you look for it in surrounding things. Our source of happiness is inside us. Guys, you live an amazing and wonderful life. Start enjoying it, and you will certainly find your poem. As for this half full glass of water, it's just for me to drink. <laughs>